So many of our patients have contacted the clinic because they're a bit concerned about the COVID vaccination with their autoimmune disease or with the immunosuppressive medications that they are on. Well, firstly, I'd like to say that there's never been a vaccine that has been so intensively studied as the COVID vaccine. And after a couple of hundred million doses uh, given around the world, we can actually be quite uh, confident that it's going to be safe for our patients with autoimmune uh, rheumatic disease and who are on immunosuppressant medications. Uh, we've been lucky in Australia, we've been able to sit back and, and wait uh, for that preliminary data to come in. So uh, I really don't have any qualms in suggesting that my patients get it. Now, what we don't know is how well patients with uh, an immunosuppressive medication uh, might actually uh, respond to the vaccine and how effective the vaccine might be. It's still going to have an effect, but it's probably going to be lower than it for someone who's not on an immunosuppressive medication. Despite this, we would still suggest that you have the vaccine. In addition, the important thing with a vaccine is that there's a lot of uptake in the community because the more people who have the vaccine, the more protected we all are. Finally, there's a lot of debate as to what to actually do with the immunosuppressive medications. Uh, people on a range of different disease modifying agents and different dosing of things and different doses of prednisone. There's no clear cut evidence as to whether stopping a dose of these medications uh, would be helpful. There's no clear cut evidence as to when to exactly space the vaccine from uh, a dosing schedule. So with those sort of questions, I would encourage you to speak to your uh, treating rheumatologists because there may be certain elements to your medical history that will help them give you tailored advice for that. So bottom line is uh, the COVID vaccination is safe uh, for specific tailored advice. Speak to your medical practitioners.